I am back with another fun experiment. For today, we are going to grow something. We are going to grow some crystals. Do you know what crystals are? Well, crystals are a special kind of solid material where molecules fit together in a repeating pattern. To grow some crystals, we'll be needing the following material. 3 fourths cup Epsom salt, hot water, measuring cup, a cup or a bowl, and food coloring. Let's start! Now, prepare your bowl and Epsom salt. We're going to use a 1 is to 1 ratio. This is between the water and your Epsom salt. So, now I'm using 3 fourths of Epsom salt. I'll pour it in the bowl. So, using the 1 is to 1 ratio, that means we're using 3 fourths water. That's correct. So, pour the hot water here into your measuring cup. Yeah, there you go. That's 3 fourths. And we're going to pour it into your bowl of Epsom salt. And we are going to stir the mixture for about 2 minutes. Now, if you want to use one half cup of Epsom salt, that's also fine. Just make sure that you're following the one is to one ratio. So if you have one half cup of Epsom salt, you're also going to have one half cup of hot water. Good job. Just mix it for about two minutes. You can also make sure that your water is hot, but be careful. We don't want you to get burned, okay? You can also ask the help of grown-ups in terms of the hot water. Are you using a timer? So make sure that you're stirring this for about two minutes. And after that, you can also add your food coloring. You can use two to three drops, okay? Mix a little. And when you're done, place the mixture inside the freezer for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, take it out, put it in the refrigerator, and let it stay overnight.